And so there's there's this whole scale uh, that we use uh, that kind of gives us a sense of how much water is uh, is actually in volume of these different uh, moons, uh, moons and planets and such. Uh, so my my favorite is just to find household objects <laughs> around the house. And so it was like a scavenger hunt for me this morning to figure out size, uh, size and volume uh, to make it very visually appealing though. Uh, so Enceladus and Triton, uh, Triton being Neptune's moon and Enceladus is around Saturn, uh, it has about 0 0.02 zeta liters. So zeta liter being a one with 21 zeros, by the way. So 0 0.02, it's about the size of this little bead. Here. Wow! Wow! That's so, funny. so all that that water, and you see these beautiful pictures of Enceladus with the the water, I uh, hot water vapors, I uh, just kind of curtain, uh, vaporizing up into uh, into its atmosphere. Uh, so that's only point zero two. Next one is Earth and Pluto. They share approximately about the same amount percentage of water. So we're going to use. Uh, this really pretty agate marble here. So between Enceladus and Triton with this little itty bitty bead and then Earth and Pluto. So we're already kind of getting scaling uh, scaling up. Next with uh, scaling size, we can use this Germex bottle here uh, with Europa. So Europa is about 2.6. And then we're going to scale way up now with... Um, with Callisto, which is about the size of this book. So not, not everyone really cares about Callisto, unfortunately. Callisto is, is unfortunately a very ignored moon around Jupiter. Uh, and then it really scales up to Titan and Ganymede. Uh, so keep in mind that Callisto is about five uh, zeta liters. So going from Callisto to <laughs> This is the biggest thing I could find for Titan. Titan is about the size of this bag here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so much larger water. And then this being Titan. And finally, Ganymede being the most amount of water in our entire solar system is the length of this blanket. Wow. wow. So. Yeah. A lot of water at Titan and Ganymede, uh, and certainly a little bit at Callisto. But now the problem, though, is trying to figure out what's in what's inside. What is inside of these of these gorgeous moons? 